Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our the name. <laughs> I should tell you guys the name first. We're continuing our Magic Baby Challenge and I posted a poll on my channel to see what name you guys thought would suit the challenge best. And Mystical Motherhood won by a lot, but one of you guys commented that, and it got the most likes, and I can see why, because it makes total sense, that I should combine them. So Mystical Motherhood, the Occult Baby Challenge, I love that. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, welcome back to the Mystical Motherhood Challenge. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming and joining the family again. I appreciate it so much. So I have decided, since we've hit that milestone of 20,000 subscribers, uh, I'll be doing a giveaway. And I'll be giving away $50 worth of Sims 4 content. So it'll be like an expansion pack and a stuff pack, or a game pack and two stuff packs, or two game packs, uh, whatever combination you guys would like, as long as it equals out to $50, that is going to be the prize. All you have to do is click the link in the description and follow the instructions there and it'll enter you into the giveaway. The only two things that you have to do are be subscribed to my channel, or three things actually. Be subscribed to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on Instagram if you have it. And yeah, that is it. So if you guys want to join the giveaway, just click the link in the description. Enough babbling. Let's get into this episode of mystical motherhood i'm so excited and thank you guys so much for 20k it means so much to me i love you let's get into this all right guys here we are back on the lot actually we're not back on the lot welcome to the new lot i have moved us into a new spot a lot of you guys didn't like the other house that we were in i didn't really either it was just kind of a temporary thing but we're in Willow Creek now. I like Willow Creek because I like how sunny it is and it's just so bright and pretty here. So uh, yeah, I moved us into Willow Creek. This is just one of the houses that were already built and I just changed the inside. And I liked this lot because there's a huge area back here where we can expand the house once we have more kids. I haven't built all the rooms yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm still kind of in the process of building, but I did want to film this challenge, so. Yeah, I'll show you guys the house really quick. Um, give you a quick house tour. If you're new to my channel, you know that I'm not that great with the camera, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, so here is like the entryway. Um, very nice, very modern, very sleek. Same, big same. Uh, this is the living room. It's extremely chic like what you'd see in like a house magazine what's wrong bean oh i gave her guys i gave her the rainbow eyes a lot of you guys wanted me to so she now is a rainbow eyed bean um but yeah this is the living room um the little reading area we have here and then moving on over here we have hold up the dining room! Oh, and here's all the birth certificates. <laughs> um, the dining room. It's very um, rustic, coastal, and neutral, and beautiful. I really wouldn't mind living here. There's just a random picture of Patchy and Juniper there on the fireplace, <laughs> which needs a frame. Here's the kitchen. Super cute. Super quaint. Um, and then in through here, we have the downstairs bath which is a yellow and white bathroom. I like it a lot. And then up the stairs we go into this little like foyer area. Nothing too exciting up here. I didn't really know what to put. This is Brenna's bedroom. It's very, oh, her and Patrick are sleeping, how cute. <laughs> um, it's extremely, she likes plants if you can't tell. She likes plants and neutral colors, and yeah. Oh, this bedroom is just a whole vibe, and I love it. And then here's her bathroom. Um, more neutral colors with more plants, but like, I would kill to have this bathroom, guys. I don't know about you, but dang. All right, let's move along here. This first bedroom, oh yeah, this is Patchy's baby's bedroom. Whoa, talk about overload, visual overload. Um, I tried to make it as plan 
venti as possible. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like it, actually. I like it a lot. I think it's cute. I love the spider in the jar. I think that's awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have them plant something right there under the window. I think that would be really cute. There's just plants everywhere you look. And I like it. I think it's cool. And then um, we've just got some skill building stuff over here. Nothing too crazy. This is the alien baby room. Again, visual overload for sure. But I tried to find everything that was like alien or space theme. And I put it in here. I just chucked it in here <laughs> with no really rhyme or reason. I'm not that good at building uh, kids rooms. So yeah, I need to put some curtains on there. And then, what else did we have? Not much, there's just two balconies. And then I'll show you guys the outside area. Um, nothing too crazy. We've got some planters for the babies. We've got a little grilling area and a flower arranging table right here. Cause I think I'm gonna have Juniper and Oak also do flower arranging, maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the house. So, uh, in the comments, a lot of you guys were saying that, and I think it's a great idea. I was thinking about doing it too. But for, like, for each kid, in order to move them out, they need to reach a certain skill level. And I think that's a super good idea. Uh, it would be kind of like the 100 Baby Challenge, but um, I think it would be a little less stressful. Did you make a mess? Oh. Why aren't you guys sleeping? Aw, cute, cozy fireplace. Comfy from expensive furniture? I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> um, right, so they need to reach like a certain level and certain skills for me to move them out. So I think with Juniper and Oak, we're gonna do gardening and like gardening, maybe flower arranging. I know that there's some other stuff too. I need to like write all this down and by the next episode, I'll have it all sorted out. But um, yeah, certain skills that they need to meet. We'll work on gardening for these two as of right now. And then for these two beans, maybe like the rocket science skill and like programming or something along those lines. And you guys have been giving me really great name suggestions in the comments as well. So that is much appreciated. Keep them coming. And I really love all of the suggestions for everything else that you guys have been giving me. It's really, really great. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see this. Uh, let's, let's give her a discipline. Um, I'm excited to see this challenge grow into something that I never really thought that it would be. So yeah. Keep the suggestions coming. I absolutely love it. And I think with the toddler skills, like the toddler skills don't mean anything to this challenge. They don't like help this challenge at all. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay, cool. That's great. They don't help this challenge at all. So like, I'm thinking we should just cheat their skills. Max them all. Make toddlerhood easy on yourself because yeah <laughs> why not <laughs> uh okay so now that that's all done we just have to wait for them to age up i'm not gonna age them up because um i, I kind of want to go through each stage of their life um just regular i actually i think i would i want to do hmm should we do a short lifespan or a normal lifespan? That's another thing I haven't decided yet. So you guys are gonna have to let me know. And I don't plan on moving each of the occult people into the house. I'm, I just have Patchy here for now just to help out with the kids. I just realized this bathroom doesn't have a toilet. <laughs> Big fail. Oh my God, what? All right. There we go, all better. <clears throat> I'm gonna get her to cook some breakfast. Let's have, oh my gosh, she knows the recipe for lumpia because she ate some. I'm so stoked. Okay, let's have her um, make some eggs and toast. And then what is on our 
What's on the docket today? What were we doing in the last episode? Okay, yeah. So we know Tragic Clown, which we need to work on. Um, oh yeah, the Mermaid Man. We need to get pregnant by him. So I'm gonna go ahead and invite him over to have breakfast with us this morning. Uh, oh my gosh, I forgot we have toddlers. Should we buy high chairs? It kind of ruins the vibe, doesn't it? All right, let's bring this right over here. Um, call to meal, and he's here. Perfect timing, Mr. No Shoes. Let's invite him in. Come on in, have some breakfast. Eat up, eat up. What are you guys doing? Yeah, invite him in. Why'd you go back outside? Yay, he's actually having breakfast with us. And our fans, oh my gosh. King and queen of the table. Um, nah, we're good. Let's have a little chat with him, discuss his interests, kiss him. Oh my gosh, he's very flirty already. What the? I think he might be a glutton or a slob. I can't remember which trait makes you do that. Can we try for baby with him? Oh my gosh, we can. Okay, let's do that. Let's just get this done. I'm not really interested in relationships in this uh, Let's Play. I'm interested in having these babies and that's it. Juniper, there's food right there. Just eat it. Are you guys gonna try for baby? Right in front of Patchy? Oh. Oh, poor Patchy. In his bed too. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, from crying toddler. Okay, I thought that was from. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're all good there. Look at this. They're so cute. <laughs> okay. This bean is very sad because she has low fun and she's scared of thunderstorms. Patchy, can you come turn on uh, Kids Network? You come and watch this too so you feel better. And then Brenna, I'm gonna need you to take a pregnancy test, love. We need to know if you're pregnant or not. Mermaid babies? Yes! Uh! Mermaid babies on the way. At least they better be mermaids. If not, we'll probably have to try again. Baby doll, just watch the TV. You'll feel better. So for Oak and Juniper, you guys were saying that those are two names from Pokemon. They're both Pokemon professors. I can't believe I didn't realize that. But I think we're gonna do... Mm, maybe herbalism i don't know oh fishing we could do fishing and gardening i think that maybe gardening and flower arranging would yeah. fits more they fit patchy so i think we'll do those two i think we'll just do two skills i don't want to like overdo it yeah. and then for the alien babies we'll do definitely rocket science and oh what about robotics that could be cool and then for the mermaids, we'll do fishing, <laughs> maybe, and maybe singing, because like sirens sing. They're supposed to have like really enchanting voices. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments. You guys were saying that I should also get a butler to help out with the kids. It's not a bad idea, but I will have to make a butler's quarters or whatever, like a place where he could sleep, he or she. Patchy's going to give himself a pep talk. What's wrong, my dude? Why are you feeling so insecure? Massive breakout? Fool, you are a straw man. You don't get massive breakouts. <laughs> this looks so cozy. I would absolutely love to sleep in this room. I love this frog in the jar next to their bed. It's alive though, and there's a lid on it. I've never really understood this decor piece. <laughs> so maybe I said that I can't have a baby with Grim, but if I add him to the family, I might be able to. So we're gonna have to give that a shot and look a ghost. Maybe we should try to have a baby with a ghost too with the mod. 
It kind of sucks that you could do it in the old Sims games, but you can in this Sims game. What you got there? Yogurt. Mmm. Was Patchy coming to join you with some water? Bruce. What's he what? doing? Kudis. Be propositioned? <gasps> she didn't like that at all. Oh my god. Patchy, what in the world? That's why you're so embarrassed. You keep asking her to woohoo and she keeps saying no. I'm pretty sure we made it clear we just wanted to be friends. So, what else do we need to be doing? Oh, right, a vampire. I wish there were other vampires in the game besides Vlad, because I don't want to have a baby with Vlad. And we've had babies with Caleb in like all of my Let's Plays. So, yeah, I don't really, really want to do that either. Oh, you know what? Spellcaster. We can work on that. I know I placed I placed some spellcasters in Glimmerbrook, I think, and we can go visit them. Or actually, maybe we should wait on that because you guys were saying that um, there's three separate traits that you can get from certain spellcasters depending on the spellcaster. So I need to look more into that because I might want to do that. Let's see what's good in Forgotten Hollow. Yeah. No good vampires. Oh, okay, I know what we can do. So let's go ahead and add a Winterfest tomorrow. <laughs> One of you guys were saying we could have uh, Christmas in summer and pretend like we're in Australia. Um, so we'll do, hmm, what should we call it? Let's just call it Santa Day. <laughs> Because there's already a winter festival in calendar. Okay, Santa Day. We'll do winter fest decoration theme, and the only thing that we're gonna have is Father Winter. That's it. All right, so we should be getting him tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Wait, when does Santa Father Winter arrive again? Uh, a fireplace and a pile of presents? All right, there we go. The littlest pile of presents you ever did see. Can't wait to see Santa. I am so confused. Here's the Genji that we killed and dislike. And then here's another Genji who looks exactly the same. And they both have different last names. What? <laughs> Is this himself reincarnated to uh, extract his revenge? Okay, so today is the day that um, fa we're gonna see Father Winter. Oh my god, these toddlers. I'm about to just age them up into children because them being toddlers is just like super, super annoying and I hate it. Um, oh, <laughs> I wanted to say that you guys are saying that like changing their hair and their clothes and all that kind of stuff like defeats the purpose of the challenge, but I really don't see how that defeats the purpose because I have custom content on anyway, so it's not like when they're born they're gonna look the way that they should in The Sims. And hey! You butthole! No crushing dollhouses in this home! No! Come on, Patchy, do some parenting! Really? You can't do any parenting because it's not your kid? Um, but I was gonna say, I firmly express disappointment for Smashing Dollhouse. I do this with all my sims. If you guys watch any of my other series, I always give them creative sim makeovers just so I can like use all the fun custom content that I have. Um, I'm sorry if you guys think that it um, defeats the purpose of the challenge, but it's fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I do it. What is with these toddlers? They're all so horrible. He's having an emotional meltdown. It's probably because you're hungry. Here, have some freaking vegetable dumplings and shut up, yo. All right, what do we want to plant in this little planter? Should we do a Christmas rose? Sure, why not? Plant that. Oh, look at cool boats going by. Excuse me, ouch, that hurt. All right, I'm ready for Santa. I know it's only 5.45 a.m., but I'm ready. I text Grim every single day. Nothing works. I don't know how we're gonna get him over. 
I'm pretty sure we have to get flirty and then send him a flirty text and then he invites us on a date. So I'm gonna try and get her to watch romance and see if that gets her flirty. How's things going for you lately? Oh, just swell, Cameron. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. <laughs> get flirty. Okay, you're a little bit flirty, but you're still extremely playful from being pregnant. Did you just sneak a pre- There you go! Very flirty! Okay, hang on, hang on. Send flirty text. This better work. This better freaking work. It's worked in the past. What happened? Why'd we get a negative? <gasps> there it is! Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. Yes, we freaking should. <laughs> oh, okay, so every time we want to hang out with Grim, we have to get flirty first. Hopefully he doesn't bounce on us again. We need to get a lot done in a small amount of time. Um, let's just hit him with the sexy pose right off the bat. Kiss his cold, dead hands. Compliment his outfit. Oh, he loves the rose because he's a romantic bean. Okay, I'm getting a little bit concerned because the romantic options that we have haven't changed. Aw, this girl's so cute. That's a nice outfit. No, he's going! No! Uh, okay, that's fine. We got our romantic bar up a little bit more, so that's good. That's good, that's good. Look, it's Harry! Oh god, he's trust Okay, wow. Never thought I'd see him like that. What are you doing? What? You're pregnant. You are pregnant! Is it a non-alcoholic drink at least? Are you making her a lemonade? What is that? Stop! What is it? Ah! Stop! No! Go home! What is your- Oh my god. My sims are wild. They always have been. A maid cleans your house while you're away! Yay! What are you doing out here, Zerg? You good, doggy? Angry from low attention. Okay, let's give him some attention. Let's brighten his day. Tell him a story. No. Hug lovingly. You want to come over? Sure, why not? You can help us uh, clean and take care of the babies. <laughs> She's feeling nauseous, so I'm going to get her to throw up. She's suffering from some moaning sickness. Oh, nasty. Where is Santa, though? <sighs> I think I'm gonna force her pregnancy because uh, when Santa comes, I want her to be able to get pregnant again. So, let's see. What trimester are you in right now? Oh, she's already in her third trimester? That was so fast. All right. Pregnancy phase in labor and she is pregnant with Wait, what are you pregnant with right now? Two female babies Wow, she's like the game has given her nothing but females so far That's crazy. Okay, one female one male. Okay Okay Let's go to the hospital so we can get them birth certificates. <coughs> we'll join her. We'll join her. I'm really concerned about that Genji fool. Why is there two of them? <sighs> Hello, Dr. Evil. Oh my gosh, Dr. freaking Evil, guys. He's our doctor and he's evil. I am so stoked right now. <laughs> that is so funny. All right, come on. Let's do this. Oh gosh, she's sick. Here. No, wait, no. No place in the world. No, I need you to take it. No, take it. Oh, okay, cool. Take it. What do you mean when she's not sick? She is sick. I just saw spinnies around her head. All right, guys. Fingers crossed that these babies are mermaids. 
There's a chance that they might not be. Alright, it's a boy, of course. Let me have a look at that list of names that that person commented. Oh, okay, so we can do um, Sebastian and Ariel. Sebastian and Ariel. Please be mermaids. I'm concerned that they're not. Do mermaids get special bassinets? And some of you guys were saying that Zerg and Xenon, they're not aliens because they don't have their they don't have like a human disguise. And they're only half alien? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Now we need a mermaid bedroom. Okay. So Ariel's gonna be We're randomizing the toddler traits, right? Okay, silly, that's cute. That's very cute. And we got an independent Sebastian. I feel like um, their trait should be swapped. That Ariel should be independent and Sebastian should be silly. All right, so their baby daddy, he is a brown haired, uh, I think he had green eyes, if I'm correct. Oh yeah, he's here on the lot. Yes. Hey look, Dr. Evil's here. Do you have green eyes? You do! That's awesome! Oh, we need food. Patchy, can you please make the baby some food? Make them uh, all grilled cheeses. Let's go into create a sim. Interesting brows you have there. Some of y'all were asking me where I got the rainbow eyes, and those rainbow eyes are... These are called noodle eyes. They're my default eyes, but um, there is one that has these like funky ones at the bottom. Uh, I don't know. I just know they're called noodle eyes and I downloaded them a very long time ago. So honestly, I don't know where to find them anymore. And when I give these children their makeovers, I don't change anything about their facial features or anything like that. I just give them new brows and new hair, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I'm technically not really changing that much, if you think about it. Oh, she's turning out to be such a cute bean. I'm so happy. Okay. Are you guys gonna scream at me if I don't make her hair red? <laughs> it's just like such an obvious thing to do. Aww. That's actually really cute. Aww. Oh good, she is a mermaid. Oh my gosh, good, good, good. And Sebastian is also a mermaid. Yes, uh, success. We can cross those off the list. So we're definitely gonna dress her in this little dress from Island Living. It's so adorable. I'm thinking this one, and I do like these shoes. Oh, look at these. Aww. Okay, yes. Yes, 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 yes! We can't make her a mermaid form yet, but uh, we'll get there. Okie dokie, guys. This is Miss Ariel, our little mermaid BB. Wait, what teeth did you get? Let's just give you the normal toddler teeth. Alright, Sebastian. We could give you brown eyes like your mom so many of you guys called me out for saying that uh the boy and girl twins aren't identical like so many of you guys <laughs> my bad my bad indeed what kind of hair for baby mermaid i mean i'm kind of liking the long hair um even that one is cute Okay, I'm gonna go with this one and put him in this little cute... I don't even know what kind of hat that is, but I like it. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun when they're older, because then we'll really be able to see their... Uh, their occult form, which I'm excited for. Right now, you can't really tell. Just like, use your imagination. <laughs> All right, and here is Mr. Sebastian. I think he's really, really adorable. Okay, so we have our two patchy babies, our two alien babies, and now we have our two mermaid babies. Oh my God, a whole house full full of toddlers. 
Oh boy. Are we even gonna have enough slots in our house to have Santa's kids? I don't think so. I think we're at capacity right now. We are. Dang, that sucks. Let's go ahead and invite Dr. Evil in. Not sure why he's here, but he can come in if he wants. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, I've never had Christmas in the summertime in The Sims before, and he's in his summer wear. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. Okay, um, friendly introduction. Come on. Oh my god, Father Winter, Clement Frost. Hi, Clement. How you doing? I think we should probably ask him to leave. I don't want him to get jealous when it starts getting hot and heavy with Santa. Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. <laughs> Should we flirt with him right off the bat? Let's see if he takes it. You know, you just left our house and you're already inviting us out? When the mermaid is a freaking stage 5 clinger? <gasps> Ooh! When he likes it! Santa, I knew you were down. Patchy, feed the baby. Where'd Santa go? Santa. Oh, Santa. Don't tell me he left. Bollocks. We already knew that he was evil. Oh, it's you, Patchy. <laughs> so, since we have a full house, I think I'm gonna leave this episode right here. I know it's super, super short, but I need your guys' opinion for the next one. Um, I was thinking, should we just age up all the toddlers to teens? Excuse you! Oh, and now you're just gonna get going. Uh-uh. I mean, I want to yell at him, but at the same time I don't because he's our... What are they called? OBGYN? The doctor who delivers your babies? You know what? Fine. Just, I get it. You're evil. It's just what you do. It is what it is. I just don't know why you gotta come over here and do that and then just bounce like that. I need to make a mermaid room. So that's another thing that needs to wait until next episode. But let me know in the comments if you guys think that we should just age up all the toddlers to be teens and just start working on their skills. And uh, when they become young adults and when they um, reach level 5 in their skills that they need to reach level 5 in, um, if we should just move them out and work on the next batch of children, which will be like vampires and uh, spellcasters and all that. Because honestly, toddlers are kind of boring and... I don't know why I'm making this so hard on myself having a house full of toddlers. <laughs> These mermaid children are so beautiful. Mermaid, alien, mermaid, alien. Merman, 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 alien. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about aging all of them up into teenagers and getting to work on their skills. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway if you would like. The link is in the description again, and it'll be running for a week. So the giveaway will end on Friday, February 28th. So if you would like to enter, make sure you do it by that time. The winner will be randomized. Oh, she's tucking him in. Sweet, so cute. Oh my gosh, these freaking kids, dude. They're the worst. I hate toddlers. Also, let me know what you guys think about the skills. Like, two skills per occult baby. So we've already done the patchy baby. We'll do flower arranging and gardening. For the aliens, we'll do rocket science and robotics. For the mermaids, we'll do singing and fishing. Oh, gosh. My girl, that's a new low. Go ahead and go to sleep. Patchy will take care of this, won't you, Patchy? All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.
Love you. Bye.